dejar ir a la escuela, ¿verdad? Y el mantel. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, I see you're on your way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, are you driving? Uh, yes. yes. No, oh, no. okay. Bueno, at my house, uh, my husband, uh, uh, oh. a driver, uh, uh, the one moment is in my house. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. Go okay. ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Good. Hello, Walter. Good evening. How is everybody doing? Hello. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine. I'm really fine. Great today. How are you? Um, very well, teacher. Okay, good. I'm happy. Uh, uh, we had a uh, the what and uh, friends. What did you say? You have a poor connection. I can't read you uh, very well. Uh, I am happy. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I, I, we had um, a week of paint. You painted? Yes. And my company. Oh, they are painting. Okay. Okay, good. So they are redecorating. Uh, excuse me. Are they redecorating? Decorating? Okay. They are painting, you told me, right? Or is it they no, pay? No, no. Excuse, excuse me. Ah, um, they pay. Paint. Oh, okay. Paid. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. So you got okay. paid today. Good. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Good. Then I can tell uh, you're happy. And you remember, uh, and you remember uh, for tomorrow, uh, my teacher, uh, vocabulary practice uh -huh. and speaking English. And yeah. made, uh, okay, yo, my mail, uh, my mail, uh, 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 Walter, a practice. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, Walter. Uh, how are you? Uh, where are you going? Man, very well. And uh, the practice in my world. Ah, my okay. Mate. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. That's the only way to master English. If you uh, don't practice, then you are not going to learn. So this is very important, guys. All of you has to practice all your vocabulary that you learn. If you know just a little bit, then you practice that little bit. And then you are going to be adding more vocabulary, adding and adding more vocabulary. And it will be natural. Uh, nice to see you, Francisco. Hello, Leslie. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. This is your first Hello, time, sister. right? Hello, everybody. Hello, Francisco. How are you? Hello, Fausto. And hello, Sandrita. Hi, Silvia. Hi, Maria Fernanda. Hello, um, Carla Marielos. And hello, Angeli Magali. Hello. Okay. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. Great. Great. I like to hear that. Okay, 
we have a lot of things to do today because uh, we have to practice the last vocabulary from the last classes. But first of all, we are going to start taking the attendance, okay? So let me take the attendance. Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz, please say present. And present. You, have to turn, you have to turn on your camera, okay? When I take the attendance, thank you. Um, okay. uh, Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. He's not here yet, right? Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Not yet. Conchita Maria Cecilia Gomez Campo. Um, Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito, Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera, Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera, present, Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Franz, uh, Fausto, are you there? Yes, teacher. Present. Okay. Remember that you have to turn on your video when I take the... Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you very much. And Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Present, teacher. Leslie Fernandez Ochoa. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maria Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea, de Sea is not here yet, right? Okay, uh, Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosita. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Thank you. Okay. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera is not here yet, right? Uh, William Isaac Montoya Avila. There we go. Okay, today we are going to do something. Um, uh, to practice okay this is just to practice we have to remember what we did yesterday just let me share you share with you this um these exercise that we are going to do first there we go okay Let's remember that we were talking about how to give instructions and how to talk about our obligations and also ask information about obligations, right? What do you have to do, right? And uh, where do I have to put these things or store these products? This is the, these are the questions that we were uh, practicing. So today, this is the activity. We are going to choose a classmate and we're going to ask a question about obligations and we're going to use have to and don't have to. For example, I'm going to give you the first example. For example, I'm going to say, I have to ask a question, right? I'm going to ask Sandra. Sandra, do you have to go to supervise the warehouse? Okay, Sandra, do you have to go to supervise the warehouse? 
This is a question, right? So Sandra has to answer, correct? Sandra has to answer. Uh, what will be the answer, Sandra? Okay. Do you have to go to supervise the warehouse, Sandra? No, I am not. No, no, I don't. Okay. No, no I, don't. I don't. Correct. No, I don't. No, I okay. don't. Correct. So this is the no. exercise. Okay. So I'm going to say one name and then this person has to choose a classmate and ask the question to that classmate. Okay. Do you understand, guys, the uh, instructions for this activity? Tell me, please. Tell me, yes, teacher, or no, teacher. Activate your audio and tell me. Do you understand what we are doing? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Uh, we're going to start with um, Silvia. Silvia, you ask a question using these activities that you have shown in this slide, okay? And let's start. Go ahead. Okay, teacher, I just want to check. Uh, I have to choose a classmate and then I have to choose that class. I have to ask. Uh, one of these uh, questions, right? Yes, you have to formulate the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, I have to for formulate the question. Okay. Mm. Walter Mauricio. Mm. Walter Mauricio, do you uh, have to. An answer or write... have to... Walter, you answer. Repeat. Okay, do, do you okay, have to repeat, attend please. meetings in your workplace? Excuse me, excuse me, repeat please. Yes, do you have to attend meetings in your workplace? Um, I do not. I don't know the um, place in my world. Okay, Walter, this is the situation. You have to answer the question that Sylvia asked you. And she was asking if you go to meetings in your workplace. Do you have to go or you have to, do you have to attend meetings in your workplace? Repeat the question, Silvia, please. Okay, do you have to attend meetings in your workplace? Or do you, do you go, uh, do you attend, no. do you go to attend meetings in your workplace? Okay, okay. Okay, uh, Walter, if the answer is no. I don't know. No, if the answer is no, you have to say no, I don't. No, I don't. No, uh, okay. No, I don't the medium uh, my workplace. Just, just like that. No, I don't. It's a short answer. No, I don't. Correct? No, I don't. Correct. It's good. Correct. Good, good. So now, please, let's see. Okay. Thank you very much, Walter. Thank you very much, Silvia. So now, Maria Fernanda asked a question and yeah. Angeli answers okay Angeli do you have to check email today yes I have yes I do okay yes, I'm sorry I yes do. I do okay great so now let's see um thank you very much Maria Fernanda and thank you very much um Angeli Let's see Fausto and Rosa, please. Uh, Fausto, ask a question and Rosa answers. Okay. <clears throat> Rosa, do you have a uh, team voice at your workplace? 
Can you repeat, please, Fausto, your question? Okay. Do you have to invoice and your work uh, your workplace? Uh, okay. That will be, do you have to issue invoices, right? Do you have issue. to issue invoices? I have the, that okay. here. Look at, look at this. Issue invoices. Just let me show you here because I need the mouse. There we go. So this is the activity that you were saying, okay? You see? Issue invoices. Okay. Do you have to issue invoices at your workplace? Facturar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rosa? Rosa. Activate your audio, please. Your microphone. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat, please. <laughs> okay, Rosa. Do you have to issue invoice at your workplace? Yeah. Mm. I I I don't I don't know uh, the sort of the place. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what you don't know, or just you don't issue invoices. I don't know. You see, you see, you see invoice. Ah, okay. Then the answer, the correct answer is no. I I don't. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, just just no, like I that. Don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to write down the example here for you to take note. And okay. Do you This is the question that you are asking, okay? Do you have to I'm going to use write reports, okay? For example. Do you have to write reports? and your job, uh, okay? And then you say the name, right? From somewhere, right? Okay. Hey, teacher. No, 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 I'm just uh, giving the explanation, okay? Example. I'm, I'm explaining, yes, this is an example. So the answer, if you write reports, then you have to say, yes, I do. But if you don't write reports, then you have to say, no, I don't, correct? Even though you have here this verb, you don't use the verb to answer. You use do to answer, okay? okay. Do we agree? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. So this is the exercise. Just give me one moment yes. because it means that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. I'm go thank you very much, Rosa, and thank you very much, Fausto. I'm going to um, choose Elvia and Wilfredo, please. You, Elvia asks a question and Wilfredo answers. Okay, teacher. Wilfredo? Tell me. Do you have to organize meeting in your job? Yes, I do. Great. The pronunciation is organize. Organize okay. meetings. Okay. Organize okay. meetings. So let's uh, continue. There we go. Let's continue. Thank you very much, guys. Let's see. Um, Walter asked a question and, and Leslie, please answer. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, the busy declare and your job? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, good, good. 
Excellent. So this is using have to. Let's remember that this is just a practice and this is talking about obligations. Now let's go to the other exercise, the next exercise. Uh, just let me get off from this screen and let's go to the other. Okay, now let me erase this. Now we're going to give these instructions asking for a possibility, okay? If your classmate can or can't, correct? So we are going to do the same thing. We are going to ask a question and answer the question. Let's remember that if you can, you're gonna say, yes, I can. And if you can't, then you're gonna say, no, I can't in the answer, okay? I want you to remember the, the way before of giving it to you, how to say the question, okay? There we go. Let's start with um, Fausto and Wilfredo again, okay? Fausto ask a question using can as a possibility and Wilfredo answers. Imagine that you are the boss, Fausto. Okay. Alfredo. Can you schedule an appointment in your job? I'm sorry, will you repeat, please? Okay. Uh, can you schedule an appointment in, in your job? Yes, I can. Okay, good, good. But this is the situation. Right now we are not asking if it's an obligation or something. You are like asking a favor or something. You are giving the instruction. So you are gonna say, can you please schedule an appointment for today? You have to add the compliment. Let's remember the exercise from yesterday that we did in our manuals. So I'm going to show you now for everyone take note, okay? using that activity. Uh, can you schedule an appointment? And we are gonna say, for example, uh, with the clients, okay? So this is the structure. This is the structure. Remember that we, uh, uh, I started this yesterday, okay? Can you, I'm sorry, oh, schedule an appointment with the client? What will be the answer, Wilfredo? Mm -hmm. uh, right now, can you schedule? Uh, maybe may i answer yes i can yes of course That's your answer yes of course yes okay. i can yes i can and here we could because this is a possibility and oh. then we can answer in yes, a I long can. answer right yeah yes i can okay. uh, schedule an appointment with a client great so we can either use the short answer or the long answer. Long answer is for formal things. Short answer mm. usual, usually are for uh, the common uh, conversations, okay? So it is okay as we did right now. So we are going Teacher, to choose, excuse me? I, I have a question for you. Tell me. In this case, we are, are uh -huh. going to use only present because I don't know, may I may I question you using, did you answer the phone uh, 10 minutes ago, for example? Oh, yes, only... no, that will be another kind of question, okay? okay. Because that is, uh, did you, right? Remember, yeah. that's the past thing. 
So, and there are some others that are in the future, but right now can is for things that can happen to happen today or every day as an as a habit or as a, uh, an obligation or something that we repeat every day. So can we use it in present? Can is okay. for present. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you teacher. You're welcome. And do you have any other question? Anyone? It's okay. Okay, thank you very much, Wilfredo. And anyone else? Questions? No questions? Okay, let's continue. We're gonna take two more minutes to continue with this activity. Let's see, Angeli, please ask a question to, um, to Rosa Esperanza. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Rosa, can you answer the phone tomorrow in the morning, please? Well, that's good. That's a good structure. Yes, I can. Great. Excellent answer. Okay, there you go. This is the um, structure to ask for uh, possibilities possibilities if someone can do something or can't. So let's go to the other activity for today. Just let me go back from this screen. And do you remember the reading? Do you remember the reading? Yes. Okay, did you read it? Say yes, teacher, we did it. It was very interesting and we learned where to store all the products. I know that you, right now, you mastered the storing topic. Yes? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Here we go and we are going to check if you did it, okay? If you read this, then you are going to discuss this. There you go. I'm going to ask some questions. Where can you store these products? Where can you store these products? This is a possibility, okay? Where can you store the, these products? But you are going to give some information. So let's see, where can you store um, these products? Like dry food. So we are going to ask like this. Where? Where can you mm -hmm. store dry food? Correct. Where can you store dry food? Can you give me an answer for this question? Everyone, please. I need everyone to say where. Remember the vocabulary that we learned yesterday? Oh, yeah. I have to you have it in the group. And um, please, in the chat, go and check it because I sent it as image. Okay? Let me check. This. this is the vocabulary. Okay, storage place, sto I'm sorry, a storage place, storeroom, warehouse, closet, pantry, shelves, etc. So let's go back here and let's answer this question. Where can you store dry food? Everybody, I need everybody speaking here. Let's talk about the dry food. What is dry food, guys? Yes. Products you... are uh, the... Beans. The, the beans, cooking, rice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think okay. that you can store rice. these uh, good rice? Uh-huh. Great. So we can say cereals, right? cereals oh, yeah. or seeds also right we can say that uh 
Do you think we well, can well, store well. these things near the detergent? No. Why? What's no, going to happen? Because detergent is, is smell is mm -hmm. going to be smell very bad okay. when you can cook them. Good. Do you think that we can store dry food in a humid place? In a humid place. Humid um, lettuce. Um tomatoes. Oh, th those are vegetables. Okay. Vegetables. Okay. Oh, good. Vegetables. Do you think we have we can store these things, these dry food in a humid place? Or in a room with hot temperatures? No, teacher. No, I think sure. no. No, right. Because it, it's gonna. Uh, because it's gonna get ruined. Um, I think dry food. It must be storage in a place near the kitchen. Oh yes, that is correct. That is correct. Near you can the store them, teacher. You can store to night shelves or in a pantry, for example, Great. near to the kitchen. Great, good. So let's think about another product. Okay, let's think in another product. I need to go here. Uh, where can you store vegetable oil? For example, this is an example. Where can you store vegetable oil? I need opinions. Angeli, Rosa. Tomato. Vegetables is tomatoes, potatoes. Okay, yeah. vegetable oil is yeah. that liquid that you use when you are going to fry something. Okay, uh, aceite, aceite, oil. Tamari. Cranberry, um, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you very um, much, Rosa. But oil, oil is that liquid, uh, uh, in this case, yeah. that you use to fry the eggs, for, to fry eggs, for example, aceite, oil. right? Hey, oil in, 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 in salad. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Olive oil. Good. Uh -huh. where, <laughs> can, where can you store the vegetable oil? Where can you store vegetable oil? Refrigerators, vegetables. Okay. Thank you very much, Rosa. Now, what do you think, Francisco? Uh, Where can you store vegetable oil? Uh, I think uh, you can store in shelves. And shelves, uh, good. Mm -hmm. Or a pantry. Or in a pantry, good, good, good. This is usually in the kitchen, right? So yes, it's good. So Elvia, where can you store weapons? Do you know what weapons is? Weapons. Weapons, weapons are guns, right? That's weapons, knives. For example, mm -hmm. do you think it's safe to store weapons at home? No. Armas, weapons. Weapons. Uh -huh. Armas. Yes, weapons. Do you Armas. think, where can you store weapons? Weapons. Where? Somebody please weapons. help Elvia. Let's see. Uh, yes? No. Uh, teacher. Yes? 
Uh, weapons must be in a place safe, in a safe place. And this couldn't be closed of children. Yes, you need to lock them, right? You need to lock this kind of products, the weapons, knives and guns and whatever you consider a weapon, you have to be very careful. You cannot store weapons at home. If you have them, you have to lock them, right? Lock them with a key, lock them in a safe, good. Uh, let's remember here. Mm, I have to go back from this screen and here. You see here, safe. Safe means is a box with a key or a code, right? A code where you store money, jewelry, and weapons, uh, uh, important documents also are in a safe, right? Okay, so let's continue here and we are going to use, okay, that was a possibility when I asked where can you store these products? But for example, with the weapons, we have to say, uh, you have to, this is an obligation, I, I, I think, right? What do you think? What do you think? Where do you have to store weapons? Where do you have to store weapons? Let's go back to the answer. You have to store weapons in a safe, right? Correct? Mm -hmm. Get it, everybody? Yes. I want to hear you all. Do we agree? Are we okay until the moment? Yes. Yes, teacher, we are okay. Okay, so far, so good. Correct? Yes. Good. So let's... Uh, just take a little okay. reading again here, and then we are going to pass to the other activity. Let me erase this. Teacher, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of a free tour or something like that? Fridge. In the other page, um, one moment. This one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Furniture. Furniture. Furniture is all kind of um, uh, stuff like tables, desks, uh, diners, um, pantries, and... Um, the whole things that you need to do an activity, right? Furniture, it's in global. That's the noun for everything in your house. For example, you have electrodomestics or electric appliances are also furniture. Um, let's see another furniture, um, coat, I mean, couch, um, sofa is included in furniture, right? So that's furniture. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, great. So let's see here. We were just giving the answer. Where can I store the dry food? Uh, then here, it's a must or is an obligation. These are like instructions, right? This, in this reading that we did yesterday, they are instructions. So dry food have to be stored in a dry and cool storage room, storage room, okay? Near the kitchen. That is the answer. 
Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, you can practice by yourselves with that reading and asking questions and understanding the storing vocabulary. But now we're going to do something else, okay? Before of going to the other activity, let's see, it's a quarter to nine, right? So before going to the other activity, we're gonna have fun, okay? I want to see you laughing a little. And we are going to say a tongue twister. Do you know what is a tongue twister? Do you know what is a tongue twister? No. Okay, a tongue twister. Trabalenguas, right? We are going to say, yes, we are going to practice a tongue twister and I want you to laugh a little. So please relax, relax. How can a clown run in a green, green can? Good, Rosa, you did it. Oh my God. But you know, I think the tip is to take a rhythm, right? How can I come from? Right? That, that was her strategy. Good. Good. So let's try. Everybody, please active your audio. Everybody, active your audio. Activate your audio, please. And everybody saying the tongue twister. How can I clam cram in a clean cram? How can I clam cram in clean cram? Again, again. How can I clam cram in a clean How can I clam cram in a clean cram? Again, again, again. How can I clam cram in a clean cram? How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? Again, again, I need you uh, uh, in a minute. How can I clam cram in a clean cram? How can I clam cram in a clean cram? How can I clam cram in a how can I clown crown in a clean crown? How can I clown crown in a clean crown? How can I clown crown in a clean crown? How can I clown crown in a clean green can. Okay, good, good. So now, do you know what you're saying? Do you understand this question? Can someone explain what 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 you were saying there? We're talking about this thing that you have here. Let me take the mouse. We're talking about this thing. This is a clam. Okay, this is a clam. Wow. Clam, okay. yeah, Concha. kind of, uh, yeah, so clam, 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 yes, so how, okay, how can a clam, how can a clam, cram, be put it into, right, be put it into, in a clean cream can, in a clean cream can. So it means the can is empty and you want to put a clan, a clam into the can, okay? You want to, that's the question. How can you put a clam into a clean cream can, okay? You got it? Yes, you got the idea, okay, now. Who wants to say it by it's about yourself? Who wants? Alone. Who wants to say it alone? Me teacher. There you go. Go ahead. 
Yeah. Read it, okay? Yes, by yourself. Okay, okay, right now. How can a clown cram in a clean, clean clown? Good, good, good. Now, let's see, who else? Me, teacher. Go, go ahead. How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? Good, excellent, excellent. Who wants? Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead. How can I clam cram in a clean cream can? There you go, excellent. Okay, who, who, who else? Only one, please. <laughs> Who can a clown crown in a clean cream can? Okay, good, Rosa. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> now we had a little relax. Okay, we had a little relax, and I think you were going, you did it great. You did it great. All of you were great saying this tongue twister. Okay, now let's go to the next topic for today. And we are going to the we are going to the manual. Okay, just let me go get out from this screen. We are going to uh, see. I don't see it here. Maybe I closed it. Did I? Let me open this again. Okay, and let's go to page 12 in our manuals. I'm sorry, it was not 12. It is 14, right? It's page 14. The activity that we were uh, uh, doing yesterday. There you go. Okay, everyone. Let's see, we said that you were going to do these, uh, to, uh, to formulate these questions. We did one, two, and three yesterday. So let's start with number four. Let's start with number four. Can you, um, let's see, let's see. Who did this homework? Can you do esta tarea? Okay, Eva. Teacher, no. thank you. Edward, please give me the number first... four. Oh. Um, only three. <laughs> yes, we did three yesterday, and it was supposed you to do it at home. Number four, five, and six. You remember? Oh, no. Uh, yes, uh, only three. Only okay, three. no problem, no problem. I'm going, uh, alguien hizo esta tarea? Did someone do this homework? Yes, teacher. I did the homework. Okay, good. Can you give me number four, please? Yes. Where can they pile up the boxes? Okay. Good, but in this case, we are not talking about the place. We are talking about time because it says tomorrow, the answer, Oh, right? yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. When? Excellent. When can they when? pile up the boxes? Good. So what will be the correct um, 
the correct question again, please, Silvia. When mm -hmm. they can pile up the boxes? When can they, okay. When, when can they can pile they... up the boxes? Thank you. Okay, this is the correct question, guys. Okay, where can, when can they pile up the boxes? When. And what is the answer? Please read it, uh, Silvia. They, yes, they can pile up the boxes tomorrow. Okay, who wants to write or to give me number five? The answer is you can store the 90 cars in the warehouse. What will be the question here? Where or when? Where? Where, because it's a place, right? Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. Where can you? Store the Where can... Mm -hmm. Here you um, can, you can either use I or either use you, okay? But let's say I, where can I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Store. Mm -hmm. Tell me, please. Night car. The night cars. Okay. And remember that when we are writing uh, the questions, we have to write the question mark at the end. Okay. There you go. Where can I store the 90 cars? This is for number five, okay? Now let's see number six. Number six, the answer is yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. What will be the question there? Number six. Can you give me information of the product? Excellent. Can you give me information mm -hmm. of the product? Okay, good. And remember the question mark. Can you give me information of, of the product? Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. Okay. So at the moment we've finished, we've finished this exercise. So we are going to break out the room in, in, into different rooms and uh, you are going to practice these questions with its answers, okay? Saying them. Okay. Rosa, are you there? Okay, good. Uh, uh, how is the how is the practice 
Yes, you have to practice the uh, questions and the answers that we did in the activity. Okay? Teacher, what page is? Uh, it's page 14. Page 14. Page 14. Mm -hmm. 14. Yes. Page 14, activity 5. Un poco de speaking Spanish. <laughs> a lot of speaking Spanish. Okay, tell me, tell este, me. Sobre la página 15. Sobre la página 15. No, página 14. Page 14. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Five, four, mm -hmm. no, Page 14, and you oh, have okay. the activity oh. number five. Okay. Number five. Okay, okay. Uh, a question, Francisco. Can you give in, uh, can you give in my information of the problem? Mauricio, Mauricio eh, what product do you need information? Okay, you have to read the question and give the answer that you have in the activity, okay? I'm going to try okay. to share here. Maybe I can. Okay. Ah, no. Let me see. Okay, excuse me. Okay, guys, this is this is what we are doing. Okay, this is what we are doing. We are going to number one. Say the question and answer with this answer. Okay. 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 This is the question. Where can I'm storing in the bathroom. Where can I store them? Where can I store them? Where can I store them? Just that, them. Where can I store them? them? Mm -hmm. uh, Is the answer yes? I can, uh, but to whom? Okay, vaya, miren, la actividad acá es que ustedes van a practicar la pregunta y la respuesta. Pregunta y respuesta son seis preguntas, son seis respuestas. Entonces, vamos, uno hace la pregunta, el otro lee la respuesta. Uno lee la pregunta, el otro lee la respuesta. Ok. Ok, ok, ok. Okay, now you get okay, it. Hola, hola, hola. Sí, Francisco. Ah, okay. Pensé que no me escuchaba, que se me ha congelado la pantalla. Sí, así veo. Varios estamos teniendo problemas con la conexión. Varios, varios estamos con ese problema y cuesta escuchar, ¿verdad? Por eso como que se han cortado las instrucciones también. Ok. Le, 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 yeah, le, yeah. Bien, pero okay. se me ha congelado por completo por la... Ok, pero cree que puede hacer la actividad con el audio. Yes, yes, ok, there you go. Bueno, los dejo. Oh, I leave okay. you and please practice okay. and use your vocabulary as much as, much as you can, ok? Bye. Okay, Correct. Uh, number, two. number two. Can she find the form? Mm -hmm. Yes, she can. She can see in the form. And number three. Okay, the correct pronunciation. Hello, hello. 
Here I am. Hello. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the verb yeah, sign. It's not sing. It's sign because sing is sign. la 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 right. But you you've got to say okay. sign. Sign. Mm -hmm. sign. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Continue. Continue. You are doing great. Okay. Uh, can we move all the televisions? No, we can. We can move all the television. Okay, number four. Okay. Uh, can they? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. When can they pile up the boxes? They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. And uh, number five. Uh, where can I store the 90 cars? You can store the 90 cars on a warehouse. And number three, can you give me um, information of the product? Yes, I can. I can. I can give you information of the product. Okay. 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 Um, now you I, switch. Now you switch, and I leave the room. Okay. Continue. Continue. Okay. okay. Bye, teacher. Right, Ahora podemos poner where, where can, where can, where can, yeah. organize, to organ, uh, where can, to organize, organize, Aha, uh -huh. organize the tools. Where can uh -huh. tools uh -huh. to organize the tools? Okay, we're back, good. The activity was meant to practice question and answer, question and answer. And you had the activity number five in page 14. That was the activity. Did you do it like that? Así lo hicieron? Pregunta? 
Respuesta. Pregunta, respuesta. Era prácticamente solo leerla. ¿Ok? Leerla. Página 14, actividad número 5. ¿Ok? Page 14, activity number 5. Yes. Ok, great. Do you have any question at the moment? Do you have any question at the moment? Are we okay, Walter? Are we okay, Leslie? No, yes, teacher, yes. Okay, are we okay, Carla? Yes, teacher. Okay. Everybody, are we okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. let's continue, let's continue. I see that Wilfredo got disconnected too, right? Estamos teniendo todos quizás bastantes problemas con la conexión el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Hemos tenido así como altibajos, tal vez alguno que otro no, ha estado estable, pero sí hay problema con sonido, ha habido problema con eh, el video incluso, pero eh, creo que hemos agarrado el, el contexto, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa, recuerden que el video queda en la plataforma y también sus dudas las pueden hacer por medio del grupo, ¿verdad? Ok, let's continue. Today. En algunas, algunas partes está lloviendo, teacher, perdón. Ah, ok, por ahí va el asunto. Por ahí va el asunto. Ok, now. We are going to continue with uh, the order of our manuals. And in our manuals, the next topic that we are going to study is about mailing, okay? Mailing. And the question that I'm going to ask you is, does your company send any product, any documents? Do they use any mailing service? Mailing services. What is mailing services? Can you tell me? For example, to send documents mm -hmm. physically, right? By the mail, by the mail. Uh, what else can we say that is mailing services? Boxes with, uh, with wear, shoes, um, many, many products. Uh -huh. What else? Oh, what? what? Mm -hmm. Choose another kind of products. Mm -hmm. What else can we send? Can we send money by the mail? I mean, the company? Not we usually. Sometimes. Bank transfers, uh, yes. Bank transfers is better. And a long time ago, the only way to send things, it was the mail, right? But today and nowadays, we have a lot of ways to transfer the money, okay? But yes. What else uh, do they send? To, to, do they mail in your workplace? Do you think that they import products? Importan productos? Export. Export products. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, mailing services are for sending documents, to sending products. It means that you can import and you can export products through the mail or through any mail any mailing services. There are a lot of carriers, okay? Here I'm going to give you mm -hmm, carriers. These are companies that are in charge or their service is to send, okay? To transport and they use logistics, right? Carriers logistics, there we use this thing that we are going to see in this topic, okay? What else can you tell me about this? What do you know? Mm -hmm. Do you know this, this word, shipments? Do you know what shipments mean? Can someone explain that word? In Spanish or, <laughs> or in English? The concept, I mean, the definition. Explain with examples if you want, but try to do it in English. Please, let's try. Okay. Um, the achievement, um, these are on, are on um, sending or mm -hmm. receive. Um, in chip. Uh huh. Ships. Uh huh. Ship. Um, ship is a big boat. Okay. Big, ship uh -huh. is a big boat where they take the shipment. Okay. Mm -hmm. That okay. is okay. That is correct. Thank you very so, much. So, 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 so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's good. That's good. Uh, this is a very good hint that you gave us because it's on ships. Yes, it's on ships. Ship is a big boat. Uh, another transportation the, that a shipment can come or go, um, it will be by plane, right? By plane. And also they take shipments. Ellos llevan la carga, okay? Planes, ships, boats, uh, the big trucks, okay? So, yes. But what do we need? when um what do we need to know about mailing services or mailing um vocabulary here let's see um okay the verb the, the common verb to because it comes from a ship okay is shipping okay this is shipping shipping means sending and taking okay sending and returning the products sending and returning products it means shipping shipping is the transportation of the products from a place to the destination origin and destination, okay? So let's go to see in our manuals. What do you see in that box? What do you see in that box? Let's see, what do you see in this box? What is this? Can someone tell me? What is this? Do you have any idea? Mitchell. Is the information referring to the person that sending and that receive? Okay, good. The sender and the receiver, okay? Sender and the receiver. That's the information right there. Okay, yes. And also, what, what else? What else do you see? Uh, let's see here. I'm going to ask. It's a you. shipping mm -hmm. shipping label. Good. It's a shipping label. Shipping label. Good. Label. What what is a shipping label? Can someone explain? Uh huh. 
a shipping label? Is the sticker. Good, it's a sticker that contains the information from the receiver and uh, the sender. And also it has the information of the shipment, of the shipment, the content of the box or the content of the bags, the, the product, okay? So here you have, uh, ¿Ustedes pueden accesar en compartir pantalla para señalar? Chicos, pueden desde sus devices. Mm. ¿Se pueden meter ustedes desde compartir pantalla? Yes. Ok, y ustedes pueden señalar acá. Quiero hacer una prueba. Uh, oh, in my case, say you can not start screen share while the other participant is sharing. Uh, okay, because I am I am the host, <clears throat> so I have to uh, give you that. Let's see. Uh, here it say that I have uh, habilitated because here it said uh, I'm doing this try because let's see now I did it. Okay, permitir. Ahí les permití, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ok, para mañana haremos esa actividad. Voy a... le, le da lo mismo porque en la misma eh, opción que yo tengo acá, solo me deja... Eh, inhabilitarlos, pero cuando los habilito no me, no me da la opción. No sé si es esta aplicación de la escuela que no me lo permite. Voy a hacer la consulta mañana, ¿ok? Porque a mí me hubiera gustado que ustedes me hubieran señalado acá, ¿ok? Pero en este caso, para en this case, what is this information? What is this information? Do you see what I am pointing? Yes, I, I see. Okay, what is that information? Here it says from. That's the information sender, of sender the information. sender. Good, excellent. So here, do we have a receiver information? Yes. It's a receiver. Okay, if this is the receiver, do we know who is going to receive it? No, that's just the address. It's It has only the address, right? So the name of the company where this is going to, it's missing, right? It's missing here. So we could add an, a name of a company there. Maybe we can add your company name also here, okay? So what do you think is this? Here it says. Is, is tracking number, is this number when the, when, um, como le dan seguimiento, is tracking, lo, lo, lo están, Monitoring, monitoring. Okay, this number is to check in the system of the company, the mailing service, where you can locate, locate the package, right? You can locate the package and the whole transportation time and the whole uh, destinations that this package is going to arrive to get the final destination, right? So that's the tracking number. This is a, 
a register number, right? It's a register number. So here, what do we have here? How many units are coming in this shipment? How many? Sixty-six units. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sixty-five units. Excellent. Okay. There we go. The sender here, it, uh, they have like a code, like a code. This maybe is a standard that it is always using this mailing service. So he's a, a, um, a, a client that sent a lot of shipments continuously. He's a client for this mailing service and it has a code, right? And here we have the manufacturing date and we have the weight, the net weight of the shipment, okay? Good. Okay, now let's go to the question here. What is the shipping address? What is the shipping address? Let's read the other. What is the mailing address? Now, number three, how many units are in the package? And number four, what is the manufacturing date? So now I'm going to break this again in the breakout rooms and you are going to complete this activity in uh, groups, okay? Correct? Complete the questions. Edward, you have to go to your room. Walter? Walter, are you there?
Ok. Entonces, este, Chiplin sería este, literal road number si no lo han puesto acá solo pongámosle porque no lo han puesto solo dice from pero no dice para qué seguro que quien envía Excuse me, teacher. Uh, my problem with connection. <laughs> my grown teacher. Oh, oh thank you. My grown teacher. Yes, I'm going to send you to a to a room. Okay. Uh, uh, the problem connection. Pero uh, I'm finished. Um, ah, did you finish? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, no problem. But I'm going to send you no to problem. the room with uh, Edward because he's alone there. Okay. So you can double ah, check. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. No problem. There you go. You may access.
Hello. Are all back? Hi. Okay. Good. Good, good, mm -hmm. good. Okay. I was just um, refreshing something. Okay. Let's see. I have to take the attendance three times. And yesterday I did it only two eyes. So <laughs> I have to take the attendance now. So please uh, pay attention to that. Thank you. Angeli Marie Coronado Diaz. Magali, present. I'm sorry, Angeli Magali Coronado <laughs> Diaz. I am sorry. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. No, right. Okay. Um, Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Conchita María Cecilia. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Okay, Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Elvia Yanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Present teacher. Eh, Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Present teacher. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Uh, Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Eh, Silvia Ave Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Isaac Montoya Ávila. Okay. Okay, so let's continue with this and let's solve this situation. You had a situation today with two questions, right? Number one and number two. What do you think about Question number one and number two. Okay, what do you think about this? What is the shipping address and what is the mailing address? Mm. Literal round. Number one, right? Question number one. Literal mm -hmm. uh, um, numbers uh, 44, um, La Unión El Salvador. Okay, good. So what is the mailing address? Um, Travers I M C uh, twenty twenty three Grand Y San Carlos Central America zero five seven zero Made in the US uh, Okay the we US we States. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa. We can consider that address as a shipping address, but the product goes to a shipping address and also goes to a mailing address. It means that both addresses are the same. What is the difference between shipping and mailing address? The difference here, even though it's the same one, the difference here is the shipping address is like the physical address of your company, right? But there is another that it is mailing address that 
uh, where maybe is the warehouse uh, address or is the place where you want this uh, product has to be stored at, uh, or delivered. Okay, delivered. Sure. So it's, yes, tell me. Excuse me? The sender? The sender? Address, uh, no, the shipping address. No es la dirección de embarque del puerto. Not exactly, not exactly, because no. shipping address is also considered the uh, address of your company or the one who is going to receive the, the shipment, okay? It's not exactly just where it's going to arrive and then you go there and pick it up. That's what you mean, right? But it could be, it could be, but uh, well, in this case, checking the information of this uh, label that we have here for both is the same address. Shipping address and mailing address are similar, okay? Shipping address and mailing address are similar. What is the difference with the mailing address is it could be, it could be a different address from your physical uh, store or your physical company. For example, my company can be um, placed or located in Santa Elena, for example, but that's the administration office, right? Or the headquarters. But if I have my warehouse there in El Puerto de la Libertad, then my mailing address is El Puerto de la Libertad, right? So this is the thing. And here in this shipping label, we have two, both are the same, okay? Correct? Now I'm going to add, I'm going to add another question. What is the sender's address? Then you can say, or the shipper's, shipper's address is Travers, that in or Travers Incor Incorporated 23 Glenway, San Carlos, California 0570, made in the US, right? But made in is not part of the of the address. Okay, there you go. So US, right? How many units are in the package? How many units are in the package? 65. Okay, they are, or there are 65 units. Good. Number four, what is the manufacturing date? What is the manufacturing date? Manufacturing date is for... Mm -hmm. Let's read it as uh, we read a date. Let me show you how, okay? It is April the 12th, right? April the 12th, 2013. Okay, April the 12th, because we are reading, right? But we could also say 12th of the 4th, um, 2013. We could just read the numbers, but no, we have to say it formally, okay? April the 12th, remember that we add the TH, April the 12th of 2013 or 2013, correct? Okay. Okay, everybody please activate your audio. Everybody activate your audio and tell me what is the manufacturing date. April 12, 2015. Good. Good. April the 12th, 2013. Good. 
Remember the 12. Remember the date, 12. At the end, we have to do this sound, right? The 12th. The 12th. Yeah. The 12th. 12. Yes. There you go. Okay. Now, let's read this little box. Next page, page 15, right? Page 15, I'm sorry, 16. Page 16. And let's read, let's read. This is to say that you need to do something in the proxim or the pro yeah in a uh, near future okay we're going to try to say things in the near future near future en un futuro cercano nosotros queremos enviar algo por ejemplo nosotros queremos hacer una cosa en un futuro cercano por ejemplo what are you going to do after the class what are you going to do after the class the homework. <laughs> uh -huh. I am going to do the homework. Good. Because if I don't do my homework, I won't have, I'm not going to have grade. Correct? <laughs> okay, good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Edward. So let's read this. I am going to give you the information. Ah, oh, this is the positive way. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package going to arrive? Ah, this is the question. Look at the question. Who is going to deliver it? Who is going to deliver it? Okay, now let's see the negative part. I'm not going to give you the information. The airline isn't going to transport the shipping. Your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Okay, this is just for you to have an idea. Okay, this is for you to have an idea. And we're going to leave this until this uh, box. And I want we to go to the platform, okay? Vamos a dejarlo hasta ahí y mañana, eh, perdón, el lunes vamos a continuar con ese tema. On Monday, we are continuing with that topic. Pero en este momento, but in this moment, what I want to do is that we check homework, okay? Let me go there. One second, one second. I want we to go to the platform. And let me go there. There we go. Okay, this is homework number one. This is homework number one, okay? And let's read the instruction. Choose the correct noun, and let's talk about this. Number one. Uh-huh. It's a non-count noun. Yeah. What is the answer here? Time. Okay, because we cannot count time, right? We can count. Oh, this is a very interesting noun because if we say times, 
times with an S and we can one time, two times, three times, or we are talking about a different meaning, okay? We are saying a complete different meaning. So time is non-count noun, correct. Number two, read it, please. Read it, please, Sandra. Yes, Number two. Computer. Computer. Yes. yes, because we can count the computers. One computer for you and one computer for me, right? Yes. Number three. It's a countable noun. It's a countable noun. Can we count sugar? Uh, no, no, it's no. Suck. suck. Okay. And what is suck? What is suck? Why suck? Why suck? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Calceta. Calcetines. Okay. Calcetin. Yes, but yes, it's to dress your feet, right? It's to dress your feet up, right? <laughs> You can use your vocabulary. I know that you know how to explain this in English. So please use your vocabulary. Don't translate. Number four. It's used for noun count nouns. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Good. Let's see. Number five. Three. Three. Okay, it's a countable noun. Can you count money? No. No. No, all right. Can you count pollution? No. No, no all right. You can count the trees. Thank you very much, Rosa. Three. Good. Now, let's submit and let's see if we get the 20 points. Okay, let's submit. If we are correct, we are getting 20 points for this. Let's see, we submit it. Yay, we did it, guys. Oh. 20 points. Yeah, clap for everyone. You did a good job. You did a good job. Excellent. <laughs> you can do it every, I mean, any time that you want. Si ustedes quieren volver a repetirlo, vuelvan a repetirlo, vuelvan a repetirlo. Es importante ir leyendo, leyendo, y eso les va a ayudar precisamente para ir adquiriendo vocabulario. ¿Ok? ¿Verdad que tengo algún problema con mi video? Me desactivó mi video este. No lo desactivé yo, que conste. Permítanme un momento. Quiero ver qué es lo que sucede. Ok, yo creo que fue mi camarita. Uh -huh. Mi camarita se quedó quieta. Ok. Now there we, it's my webcam. Ok. There we go. So it was homework number one. Do you want to see homework number two? Yes. Yes, right? Okay. Yes. Let's go and see homework number two. Yes. Homework number two. Here it is. Okay. This is about obligations. And it means that we have to use have to and don't have to, correct? There you go. Number one, can you read please the, the, um, the number? Oh, here you have to choose the correct form of the verb. So please, number one, Elvia, can you read it? Ivan and Robert. Hey, two store has has two store boxes. Have have because they are two. Es es como que dijéramos ellos, right? It's as if we were talking about they. Ivan and Robert both have to, right? Have to. Correct. Number two. Let's see number two, Angeli. Some 
doesn't have to help in the office. Excellent. Okay. Number three. Uh, let's see who's there. Um, number three, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Yes, Francisco. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, no, teacher. <laughs> Uh, ah, I think you can't see the, the screen, huh? The secretary has to. Has to. Sure. Uh, yes. This, uh, uh, number three. Yes, number three. Has to. The secretary has to bring the documents. Okay. And then number four, Fausto. Um, I have to work eight hours a day. Good, 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 good. Now, number five, uh, Sylvia. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. Number five. Um, my partner has to schedule meetings every day. Okay, good, because here we have only one person, right? It's like if it were he or she, so has to. And now let's submit it and see if we've got the 20 points. Yay, guys, you did it great. And, great. <laughs> <laughs> and the prize goes for you guys. You did it great. You did it great. Okay, this was number three. Uh, number two, let's go and see number three because we have two or three minutes to do it. So let's see number three. Do you have any question at the moment? No, no teacher. No? Okay. No question. No questions. Okay, let's go and see homework number three. Let's read the instruction. It says, choose the correct alternative. Choose the correct I, alternative. Mm -hmm. Number one, who said it? Can I leave early today? Okay, and in this case, it is can, right? So number two, someone there who wants to participate. Me teacher. Go ahead. Uh, number two, mm -hmm. can she sell the new products? Can um, she sell? Uh -huh. Can she sell? Yes, she can. Okay, let's see. Number three, let's see Carla Maria. I'm sorry, Carla Marielos, I'm sorry. I changed your <laughs> name. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Carlita, number three. Can you call me later? Good. Can you call me later? Next one, number four. Who wants to participate with number four? Only one, please. <laughs> Can you come? Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Can you come today? Uh huh. And what is the answer? No, I can't. Okay, let's see. Number five. Maria Fernanda, number five. Can they have a meeting today at five o'clock? Okay. Uh, yes, they can. Okay. Now let's submit it and see if we got the grade here. Oh my God, you are so great, guys. You got the 20 points, yay, excellent. Congratulations, everyone, congratulations. You are doing a great 
job. So go please to the platform and do your homework and submit it. You can practice as the times that you want, okay? As much as you want. It's not, eh, esto no indica que les va a borrar eh, por borrarles, sino que a medida ustedes van avanzando, les queda la mejor calificación, okay? Así, Así que pueden hacerlo las veces que ustedes quieran para practicarlo, ¿ok? ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos? Any question? Any opinion? Ok, the last thing in two minutes. What did we learn today? What did we learn today? Let's see. Um, Leslie. What did we learn today? Can you tell me one thing that you learned today? Yes. <laughs> uh, um, Eh, se lo voy a decir en español porque quizás en inglés me cuesta un poquito. Okay, let's try, let's try in English, but okay, I'm going to help you. Okay, I'm going to assist you. Sí, bueno, estuvimos viendo sobre las direcciones, ¿verdad? De, por decirlo así. Addresses, de, okay, addresses, say it with me, uh -huh. shipping uh -huh. addresses, shipping labels, uh -huh. eh, eh, también estuvimos hablando acerca de mailing, mailing address. Okay, good, good, thank you very much, Leslie. So now, what did you learn, Anjali, today? What can you... Uh, give us a, an opinion for today. I learned um, the use for I'm going to mm -hmm. and I'm not going to. Okay, hey, good. And, um, also, the use can and can't. Okay, good. What can you tell me, Edward? I learned um, the information in the shipping lab label. Oh, good, good, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, guys, it's 10 o'clock, so... The class is dismissed and the one who is programmed for today, it was Carlos Ernesto Rogel, but he, he didn't make it today. He is not on the room. Any one of you want um, an extra time, 10 minutes with me today? Any question, any, um, I mean, alguno de ustedes quiere participar ¿O tiene alguna pregunta que quiera discutir conmigo en lugar de Carlos Ernesto? Porque él no está. Entonces, ¿podrían hacer cambio con su fecha o lo ponemos a él después? O, o realmente ya lo perdió, ¿verdad? Pero le podemos ayudar siempre. La pregunta aquí es, ¿quiere alguien, tiene alguien la intención de poder ocupar ese tiempo? Diez minutitos conmigo. O todos se quieren ir. No, teacher, we want to oh. stay with you 10 more minutes <laughs> to practice. <laughs> uh -huh. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. You? Okay, Walter. Perfect. Yes. Thank you very much, Thanks. Walter, for staying with me. Okay, everybody, you have a great rest and a great night today. Please rest well. Okay, I'll and see you, see you on Monday. See you Monday. Yes. Okay. Bye. Happy. Bye. Happy weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy to be here. Bye. 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 Okay, teacher, okay. Okay, Walter Maurice. Okay, uh, Here we are. Uh, um, and the question is, mm -hmm. um, what um, the, uh, a little, a little better uh, my vocabulary English mm -hmm. is on tick no or method or in the practice is uh, repeat, repeat, uh, learn, learn, mm -hmm. uh, and video and YouTube, okay. and watch video and YouTube, mm -hmm. and um, uh, un poco de Spanish. <laughs> este, okay, go yo, ahead. Yo, yo, yo necesito, o sea, mejorar más. But I got your idea. Let me let me tell the idea that you gave me now for you to be sure that I understood, okay? Uh, you want to know a tip how to get better or how to improve your understanding and your speaking, right? And your vocabulary of English. Is that correct? Okay. And you told me that yeah. you watched videos, you watch already movies, and uh, you are repeating and doing that, but you don't feel that you are improving. Is that correct? Sure, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, uh, and my main and, and me and the practice is vocabulary. Uh, uh, how often? Uh, hello, how are you going? How's it going? Uh, how can I help you? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you need? What do you want uh, okay. in, the, in the practice? Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, pero me cuesta un poco como, como intentar entablar o, o como qué decir, a veces me pongo a pensar. Pero nos han enseñado que un poco en el inglés no es mucho de ir uniendo. Para que vaya, hemos aprendido que si yo quiero como unir una palabra con otra palabra, en el inglés no funciona. Yeah, o sea, that's como true. que ya están las, las oraciones. Eh, ya, por ejemplo, ya, ya como quien dice de esta manera. Es structure. Hay veces, hay veces mm -hmm. lo que no es structure, ok, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. eh, hay nota de. Eh, me queda claro, hay veces, eh, vaya por lo menos. Eh, Estamos viendo al how much y al mm -hmm. how many. Ajá, ajá. El significado casi es lo mismo. Uh -huh. porque son muchos, cuantos muchas, cuantas uh -huh. este how many y how much how many Ay, déjenme... ok, how many y how much es la frase que nos va a ayudar para poder hacer las preguntas cuando querramos saber la cantidad que hay de algo ok La cantidad oh, que hay de algo. But aquí, por ejemplo, here, for example, I have Play-Doh, okay? Is this dough? Dough? Dough, okay. This is dough. Do you think dough is countable? Um, no. It's not countable because it's a substance, right? And I cannot say one, two. But in Spanish, podemos decir, esa es nuestra confusión y ese es nuestro mayor problema. Que en español nosotros sí decimos una plastilina, dos plastilinas, tres plastilinas. Oh, wow. But in English, we don't say one dough, no. We say a piece of dough, okay? A piece, an amount of dough, right? And in this case, a bottle of dough, okay? A bottle, a package, a bottle of dough. The, the name is Plato, but the noun for this material 
for this substance is dough, right? Dough. So what is the, cuál es el que yo voy a utilizar para poder decir qué cantidad de plastilina tiene ahí? Ah, entonces como no lo puedo contar eso, esa sustancia, quiere decir que voy a usar how much, ok? How much dough do you have? And then I'm going to say a bottle or a package of dough, ok? Oh, ok. For, for example, uh -huh. in the instruction, eh, este, en lo que estábamos revisando ahorita, eh, en el, como el examen que estaba haciendo la tarea, perdón, uh -huh. la tarea, el uh -huh. homework, este, decía una, este, I had and money. Uh -huh. Entonces, no contable o contable. Ajá, exactamente, y el y dinero. Y es, pero no es lo que hay en la confusión, porque nosotros sí lo contamos, pero no es contable. No, lo que pasa es esto, este es el concepto que tenemos que borrar, ¿ok? Lo tenemos que borrar de la mente porque en español tenemos cosas que sí, para nosotros son contables, una, ah, dos, tres, pero no. en inglés hay cosas que no se pueden contar uno, dos, tres. En English, there are things that we cannot count one, two, three. Para ellos en su concepto, ¿ok? Es un concepto como de cultura, ¿verdad? Que no se cuenta. Y para nosotros, sí. Entonces, money. Money, the noun money in English is non-countable. Aunque no. nosotros podríamos decir that you can count money because you can't count the amount of money. The amount of money. For example, you can count coins. Coins. You know what is coins? I don't have a coin right here yeah, by yeah. hand. Okay, but a uh, bill, for example, okay? A bill, 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 right? Yeah. This is a bill. You can count the bills. One, two, three, four, bills, yeah. okay? Oh, and also okay. You, can, you can count the quantity, right? Okay. Or yeah, you can count the quantity of or the amount of money. But money, you can say one money, two money, three money. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Okay. You okay. can count the money. You can count the money things, right? But you cannot count one money, two money, three money. En español, nosotros a veces decimos, y esa es nuestra confusión. En, para uh -huh. los que hablamos español, nosotros decimos, tengo tres dineros aquí, el dinero de fulano, el de mengano y el de sultano, right? Entonces los contamos, los contamos, pero en English we can't do that, okay? Ah. We can't do that. Ajá. Esa es nuestra pequeña confusión que nosotros sí contamos, one money, two monies, but money is not countable in English. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> That's our confusion. So we have yeah. to erase, we have to erase como, and reset. Pick, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> como de, 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 de niño. Yes. Tráeme el dinero. Yes. ¿Cuánto me vas a dar? Contame 30 dólares, 40. ¿Qué es lo que te vas a dar? Entonces, a nosotros nos... Bueno, a mí, a mí, a mí, a mí, a mí, Uh, yes, it's confusing. It's confusing, but you have to practice and then you are going to see that money is uncountable. And always, always, when you ask for the price of a product, you are going to say, how much does it cost, right? How much does it cost? And that's what we do. Or for example, how much is that, uh, let's say, how much is that cell phone? Then I'm asking for the price of this, right? How much is the cell phone? And I am talking about the price, okay? Si oh. yo pregunto, how much does it cost? Estoy preguntando por el precio, right? Oh. I am asking for the price. Always, always, money is how much? Always, in English. Oh. How much money do you earn? Okay. How much money do you have in your pocket? How much money... Um, does your wife 
earn, for example. So you use how much with money, okay? Ah, okay, teacher. Okay. Eh, también un, otro ejemplo que yo no puedo ver, por ejemplo, en, mm -hmm. bueno, agua. Oh, yes, water. Water. Is countable or no countable? It's not countable. Okay, let me show you something. I'm going to share a slide for you, okay? For you to take note about this, okay? One moment, just let me get there. Let me get there. It's kind of slow, this thing. I can't find this thing. También le quería hacer otra pregunta. Yes, tell me. Como fuera de lo que estamos hablando. Ok, here it is. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros, por ejemplo, necesitamos responder, en la mayoría de películas, solo que es bien raro que alguien diga, ah, yes, I did. Yes, I don't. No, I don't. Casi siempre las respuestas que da la persona es yes o no. Uh -huh. eh, este, lo de nosotros que lo vemos solo es por gramática de la respuesta o en veces sí tiene que decir ah, oh, yes, I do yes. O solo puedo decir ah, oh, yes, yo solo. Yes. O es una respuesta corta o uh -huh. es la estructura de cómo se habla o estoy equivocado en decir por cualquier pregunta más no, yes. O sea, como una respuesta de sí y no. Ok. Lo correcto, the correct way is the complete thing. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Ah, okay. Y la forma coloquial hace yes. como, por ejemplo, nosotros tenemos diferentes formas en español de contestar de manera formal y de manera que se oye grosero, ¿verdad? O que sí. se oye uh -huh. como mal educado, por decir así. Pero en una forma normal, coloquial entre amigos, usualmente va a usar un lenguaje de ese nivel, ¿verdad? Wow. So, pero vamos a, vamos a aprender, cuando usted aprende un lenguaje, lo mejor es que lo aprenda con sus reglas, ¿verdad? O sus normas de la manera correcta. Y poco a poco lo va a ir deformando, ¿ok? Lo va a ir deformando por la práctica, porque usted mira que en las oh, películas okay. o en la forma coloquial es así. Sí. But no, the correct thing is uh, yes, I do, no, I don't. Okay, that's the correct thing. And that's what oh. we have to learn. And we have to practice that. Okay, we, we have to practice that way. Now, going back to the uncountable nouns. Para darle una pista o un tip, okay? Just remember that uncountable nouns, usually they are food or drinks, substances, abstract things, and also collective nouns. But in this case, for example, food, soup, for example, is uncountable. Uh, and also it's liquid, right? It's liquid. So you cannot count the liquid. Nosotros en español, oh. por lo vuelvo a decir, hay nombres que sí los contamos, pero en realidad no son contables, ¿ok? O cuantificables. Uh, then we have drinks. Drinks like soda, milk. Um, can you tell me another drink? Beer. <laughs> beer, yeah, beer, uh, wine, right? And we said yesterday, yesterday spirits, okay, alcoholic drinks, yeah. um, and uh, substances like uh, chemical substances that are liquid, or maybe substances like, um, let's think, thinner, right? Or maybe um, shampoo. Right. Mm, what else can we say? Mm, the abstract things, I'm sorry. Abstract things are like 
love, um, art, el arte no es contable, un arte, dos artes, tres artes, en, en español we say that, un okay. arte, dos artes, tres artes que usted domina, dice uno aquí, ¿verdad? En español, but in English, no, we don't say that, art is uncountable. And a lot of abstract things, okay? Love is oh. uncountable. Um, let's say uh, thinking is not countable. Um, sadness, tristeza, right? Sadness is uncountable. So, eso es abstract things. Entonces, para que tenga una idea, normalmente son líquidos, son sustancias, son comidas, bebidas, los que son incontables o son no contables, ¿ok? Ah, ok, ok. Normalmente, y se necesita un cuantificador. Un cuantificador, a quantifier, es, for example, I'm going to show you the, uh, I don't have a spoon near here. Ok, I'm going to show you this and you're going to laugh. Do you know what is this? Curtido, right? <laughs> okay, this is food. Okay, this is curtido. But mm. I have it in a container, right? Okay. El quantificador or my quantifier of curtido is the bottle. Okay, the bottle. There you go. Then mm. I can say one bottle of, I don't remember the name for curtido at the moment. Let's say curtido. No me acuerdo ahorita del nombre del curtido. Se lo busco, ¿ok? Pero, uh, like pickles, like similar to pickles or conserves okay. or something like that. So, one bottle of curtido, right? One bottle of curtido. Un bote de curtido, right? One bottle uh -huh. of curtido. Two bottles of cur curtido. Three bottles of curtido. But I can't say... Un curtido, dos curtidos, tres curtidos, right? But that's an Spanish thing. Now, let's see and let me see if I have another thing. Uh, for example, imagine, imagine you have your cup of coffee, okay? Cup yeah. of yeah. coffee. You cannot count the coffee. You can say a coffee, two coffee, three coffees. Nowadays, yeah. you can, but in the formal way, you don't, okay? So... ¿Cuál es su cuantificador? A cup of coffee. Ah, puedo contar las tazas. I can count the tazas, right? Por eso para okay. los incontables usted necesita a quantifier. A cup of coffee, a spoon of sugar for my coffee, a spoon of sugar. But I can say one sugar, two sugars, three sugars, four sugars. I have to say some sugar, okay? Or the spoons of sugar. Correct. Well, Do you okay, have so any question at the moment? Uh, más o menos se logra entender. Más o menos porque me, me, me cuesta porque como los hemos a, 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 a adaptado a contar tanto desde de, de pequeño, cosa que yo creo que nosotros casi todos lo contamos. Casi yes, todos. it's true. It's true. Casi todo. Hasta uh -huh. los zapatos, pero eh, cuántos zapatos tengo, pa, pa. Este, yes. es raro lo que no es raro lo que no contemos yes, it's true eh, uh -huh. vez, because for example jeans ok, no oh, problem yeah. I'm here ok for helping you because jeans, jeans is plural and you can't say one jean you can't say yeah. that You have to say a pair of jeans or some jeans, okay? Some jeans or some um, pants, right? Pants is uh -huh. another, que como tiene uno o dos piernas, okay? Then it's uh -huh. two, right? So it, it's plural. Pajamas is plural, but that's different. That's a different concept, okay? That's a different concept. Es un concepto un tantito diferente, pero es nada más para darle el ejemplo de que sí hay cosas que nosotros sí contamos y que ellos no cuentan, ¿ok? Uh -huh. sí, Entonces, okay. ajá. Uh, le voy a enviar esta, esta um, 
diapositiva está, ah, okay, está okay. un poco está un poco saturada en el sentido de que tiene varios conceptos pero si vemos cada concepto uno por uno despacio creo que le va a ayudar mucho ok, ah, okay. entonces okay. se lo voy a mandar y usted lo va estudiando para que vaya entendiendo algunas cosas acerca de los nombres incontables que son los que normalmente nos dan problema y lo único que tiene que tener siempre en mente que para los incont o no contables va a utilizar how much cuando pregunta. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh -huh. No contable es how much. Exacto. Okay, how much. Será... Oh, thank you. Ok. ¿Tiene thank alguna so otra much. pregunta para que se la pueda contestar despuesito? Me quiero dar mi práctica y vocabulario es necesario. Hay necesario para mí. Ok. De, Vocabul vocabulary. Uh -huh. Vocabulary, yes. Ok. Eh, quizás por el momento solamente es lo que me confunde un poco, bastante. Como... Ok, <laughs> no problem. Eh, uh, creo que lo que voy a hacer es que les voy a enviar una actividad a todos, porque la verdad es que todo esto es común, ok, no crea que solo usted tiene este problema. Los que hablamos español siempre nos cuesta un poquito entender este concepto de contable incontable. Entonces les voy a enviar unas actividades para que okay. las hagan ahí en el grupo para que tengan una idea mejor del uso de how much and how many. Ok. Ok, thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then I think we finished, right? Okay. So, happy weekends. Uh, happy weekend for you too. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. And have a great night. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.